Hello, odd people. So NIO announced the June delivery numbers and Q2 delivery numbers, and they were both records, okay? For June, 21,000 was at 200, and for Q2, uh, uh, 57,300 plus, okay? Um, these numbers are way beyond anyone's expectation. I was shocked to see them, be honest with you. Um, in the video I made right after earning, I estimated that NEO will deliver 58,000. Uh, and I thought that NEO is actually underestimated or under uh, promising and will over uh, uh, you know, achieve. That, that's the style. Many, many companies do that. So they don't get trapped in this marginal situation. They give themselves some room. Uh, but given the tariff situation and the drop in the insurance numbers in the uh, in the first uh, you know two weeks uh, in in um, June, uh, made me believe that perhaps new actually shipped vehicles to Europe uh, you know, uh, early to avoid tariffs because the shipment from China to Europe takes anywhere between two to six weeks, and uh, and and you had time to do that so why not and we're talking about 20 over 20 percent was 21 percent increase in tariffs the original tariffs were 10 percent the added tariffs were 21 percent the total tariffs you know moving forward will be 31 percent so that's a massive amount of tariffs and so it makes perfect sense for new to actually uh, avoid uh, having to deal with this additional tariff and 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 do uh, uh, you know some deliveries before and that would explain the low insurance numbers. Uh, why do I believe that? That is because from a common sense point of view, uh, when you think of manufacturing uh, plants, it doesn't make any sense for a company to deliver sixty seven hundred vehicles in one week, and then 3,500 vehicles the week after. It doesn't make any sense. Some people think it's the end of the month versus the beginning of the month. No, I disagree with that at all. Even though you would see it, you would see it. If you actually look at the numbers, you would see that. But as far as production, I don't believe in that at all. I don't think there is any religious belief that, hey, by the end of the, week, uh, of the month, we have to jack up these ensure uh, uh, deliveries and the beginning of the month we have to do this why would you do that the only reason for this is because these vehicles are actually going to places we don't know that's that's the situation and uh, so it makes more sense to believe that you would have a steady production in your manufacturing facility uh, um, you know on on a weekly basis to have stable workforce and stable production so the question is if we actually add up the numbers for june um, i said in previous video that the last week in um, in may included two days in june so these two days if you do the math for the last for the for for the may monthly deliveries and and, uh, and insurance numbers uh the the two days in june will will add up to 1500 vehicles so let's let's do this 1,500 vehicles in the first two days, followed by 3,500 vehicles in the, in the first week, plus 3,400 vehicles the week after, plus 4,700 vehicles the, the third week in May. You add all these numbers, they will come to 13,100. So, NEO announced, uh, what was it, uh, 21,200. So, we're looking at 8,100 vehicles missing or added. Uh, so is this an insurance? Uh, can we expect 8,100 deliveries tomorrow? No. No, I don't think so. Why is that? It's impossible to think that, in, me, in my mind anyways, by the way, this is all, you know, chit-chatting. It's never financial advice. I'm just telling you what I think, okay? And, and remember, this is all educational. Some people don't like, like... It, is this, is this how you learn? You, you learn from discussion. You learn from sitting around the table with your friends and have a discussion and listen to other people. This is how you learn. You can never learn if you are, you know, stuck with your ideas and that's it.
you can never learn that. That's why actually never occurred to me this uh, volatile activities when you have special cases such as tariffs. So why don't I believe that tomorrow we could see, we should see 8,100 insurance numbers. That's because it doesn't make sense from a manufacturing point of view. If you are NEO or Tesla or BYD or XYZ, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make sense to fluctuate, to have one week 3,500, another week 8,100. That is horrible. If actually, if that's the case, I would be alarmed. I would be alarmed. I would dislike what NEO is doing. I would, I would actually make a, a, a negative video on NEO if that's the case. I don't think that is the case. I think we probably will see maybe 6,000 something in that, you know, in that range. Uh, uh, why is that? Or, or maybe more or, or less or whatever. You, you cannot expect to see these insurance numbers add up to 21,200 because it doesn't make any sense to jump in these deliveries that much. And uh, the reason why it doesn't make sense, how you, can you improve your production by 100% but doubling your production uh, from week to week? Based on what? What are you going to do? Hire people, fire them, hire them, fire them, you know, week after week? It doesn't make any sense. So uh, I think what, what happened is that um, Neo delivered to Europe early on uh, to escape tariffs, as I said before. And I think that uh, we actually have surge in deliveries in, uh, in uh, deliveries in Europe. Actually, to the customers, we have Neo probably had record month of June uh, uh, because of these tariffs. That's what I think happened. Why? Because J July 4th will be the first day where um, customers will pay the additional tariffs. Companies, companies do not eat up tariffs. Tariffs are passed on. That's why in Trump-Biden debate, uh, Trump said something about the tariffs and I had the you know, Chinese government pay this and pay that and it's all in my opinion it's all false it's wrong to say something like this because of the fact that these tariffs are actually passed on to 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 the customer to the to the average citizen you know that's that's what happens the, the prices will be higher it's as simple as that okay so yes you could you could help your you know your uh, your uh, uh, you know your uh, you know the the legacy in your country, but uh, you are not taking it from the government, and you're not even taking it from Neo. You you you're just passing this to the average citizen. That's that's what uh, I believe in, anyways. So so what happened in Neo's case in Europe? I think that uh, that is the case where uh, um, you know customers in Europe jump on, and I think this might continue all the way up to July the 3rd to, to uh, and, and that is, could be, that could be actually uh, the case where Neo probably ship additional vehicles to Europe to, uh, to um, keep the supply in check. You see, because if there's surge in, uh, in deliveries or, or, or purchase of these vehicles, then that means uh, there will be, uh, you know, there, there will be a gap. You know, that we will not, new will not have enough uh, supply. So they rushed and did that. It's all could be all speculation, but it's logical speculation, though, right? I mean, that's that's the thing you have to think about. And uh, in my opinion, uh, that means that new's uh, brand is actually in demand. If we actually see a surge. In, uh, in June in Europe. I mean, we're talking not just in one country, you know, Germany, Denmark, Norway, Switzerland, all these countries, right? Uh, if there is surge in, uh, in Europe, that means NEO's brand is in demand. And, uh, and that also means that NEO really did wonderful job in balancing uh, the, the demand between China and Europe. Beautiful job to rush these vehicles ahead of time. If that's the story, wonderful.
Otherwise, we're going to have a long discussion on this. Okay? Anyways, that's what I think. You may not agree with me. Let me know. Let me know if I'm just, uh, maybe it's too, too hot here and, you know, it's affecting my thoughts. But let me know what's going on. All right? Never financial advice. Thank you. Bye-bye.